most reasonable people in the world. I am a fan of Nutella. Well, not actual Nutella because that's not vegan. It has skim milk in it, as well as palm oil, which a lot of people don't consider vegan because of the destruction it causes to orangutan habitats. Either way, I do love a chocolate hazelnut spread. I actually made a recipe for this a few years ago on my blog, and it is quite delicious. But I do remember at that time wondering if a white chocolate Nutella would be good. I ain't never tried it until today. Hi, I'm Val from Very Vegan Val, and today we're gonna make white chocolate Nutella. I'm starting with a cup of hazelnuts, and these have been pre-roasted. I'm gonna see if I can get the skins to loosen up a little bit by just rolling it in a kitchen towel. You don't strictly need the skins off, and I'm definitely not gonna try for all the skins off. That's working okay, but I'm gonna try giving them a re-roast, if you will, and see if that works better. It's hard to tell until you look at the cloth. I don't know if you can see all those hazelnut skins, but it is working, so let's keep on going. If you're starting with raw hazelnuts, you'll probably want to toast them anyway. I think that, for the most part, those are looking fairly well skinned, so I'm gonna call it. And we're gonna start just by processing that. So I'm just gonna add a couple tablespoons of neutral flavored oil. It's gotten to the point where it's more sticky. Now we're gonna have to start stopping and scraping down the sides. I'm gonna add some sugar at this point. We're gonna try a quarter cup of sugar. I'm gonna add half a tablespoon, which is the same as one and a half teaspoons, of this powdered vanilla. This is cocoa butter. It's the fat that's in chocolate. It's also one of the main components of white chocolate. When you buy it, you do need to make sure that you're getting food grade cocoa butter, because it's also used in a lot of cosmetics. I've got a third of a cup of it here, and I'm just gonna melt it in the microwave. We've got our melted cocoa butter, and we're just gonna add it to the food processor and give it some more processing. At this point, we just wanna make sure that the cocoa butter is fully incorporated with the hazelnuts, otherwise it will just form a thick layer on top. You can see it's very liquid at this point, but it should firm up, so let's go get it a jar and put it away. I will say I was going for white, and this is definitely more of a peanut butter color, but that's okay. It's about the taste anyway. That sounds even better than white chocolate Nutella. More white chocolate Nutella. I'm gonna try a couple other white chocolate based nut butters while we are at it. One cup of cashew pieces. I've had to switch to olive oil because that's all I have. I think this is a fairly neutral olive oil. Sort of the trust the process bit of nut butter. It just does not seem like it could ever get smooth, but you gotta trust the process. I will take this opportunity to put the sugar in. I think I'm gonna go melt my cocoa butter now. For this one, I'm only gonna use a quarter cup. It's not all the way melted, but I'm sure it'll be fine. That actually has a lot better of a white chocolate color to it, but I think I'm gonna ruin it. This is freeze-dried strawberries. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon. We definitely need more strawberry. That has probably been about a quarter cup in total. Into a jar. I'm gonna make a little caramelized sugar for this last one. I'm starting with a quarter cup of sugar and adding just a splash of water so it doesn't burn as the sugar first starts to melt. Okay, that's what we want. I'm taking it off the heat because it's starting to burn. I'm just adding a splash of milk. Oh. Okay. 
For our third white chocolate, we're gonna be using macadamia nuts. Into the Cuisinart they go. Ooh, that's already looking very nut buttery. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and add our caramel at this point. Let's melt a quarter cup of cocoa butter. Let's add a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm gonna place all of these jars on my countertop overnight because I think in the fridge they're going to get a little bit too cold and be hard to spread. Before I do that, I'm just gonna talk about food safety a little bit. I'm not an expert and I could be wrong, but my understanding is that nut butters have such a high fat content and such a low water content that you're able to store them at room temperature without fear of mold or bacteria growing. The benefits of storing them at room temperature is they're softer and more spreadable. However, the downside is that they will go rancid more quickly. I personally am probably gonna keep one jar of this at room temperature and put the other two in the fridge. If they do end up getting a little bit too hard, you can always soften them up in the microwave for like 10 to 15 seconds. First things first, we're going to try our classic hazelnut white chocolate Nutella alternative. This is a little bit harder than I would like. I would probably add like one more tablespoon of oil if I were to make this again. Interesting. It is good. You taste hazelnut and you taste white chocolate, but the hazelnut definitely hits you more. It's very thick. It has this silky and creamy mouthfeel. You do, however, get the bitterness of the hazelnuts. And I think in actual Nutella, I wouldn't mind that because you expect some bitterness with dark chocolate. But with white chocolate, it's a little bit distracting. It's almost like it's just not quite supposed to be there. Overall, it is a good spread and I will be enjoying it, but maybe it needs to be a little bit sweeter even. I don't know, something about just that slight bitterness throws the whole thing off a little bit. Next, the strawberry cashew butter. Now this one is the hardest of all of them. Every time I use this, I'm definitely gonna have to microwave it a little bit. Let's give it a taste. That is so creamy. That is delicious. I definitely would not call this white chocolate, which makes sense because at this point it is definitely strawberry flavored. But you do get those cocoa notes and they are quite delicious. It tastes like a really gourmet strawberry ice cream. It's sweet, it is creamy. Honestly, I can't see anyone not liking this. This is the caramelized white chocolate macadamia spread. This one is actually the softest of all of them. The texture it is right now is pretty much perfect. This is so buttery. It is soft, it is creamy, you get white chocolate, you get little hints of caramel, but mostly I feel like what you get is this really rich, lovely, buttery macadamia nut flavor. This is so good. I think in order of flavor, I would say macadamia caramel white chocolate because you definitely get the macadamia, then you get the caramel, and then you get the white chocolate. I can't, this is delicious. So I have a favorite and I don't know if you could tell, but it was absolutely this one. The macadamia caramel white chocolate butter. I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and write this up as a recipe for my blog, which is veryveganval.com. So you can look for the recipe for that on my website, or you could just use my instructions here. It's gonna be pretty much the same, I think. In terms of these two, with this hazelnut one, what I would say is, if you wanna make this one yourself, I would recommend getting hazelnuts that have already had the skins removed. Because I got a lot of the skins off, but not all of them off. So if you're able to find them pre-skinned, you will be a happy camper. The other thing I might recommend doing is adding a little bit of like an oat milk powder to it. I think it will help with the creaminess, which might distract from some of that bitterness. 
You also might want to up your sugar and your oil levels just a little bit, but that's sort of personal preference. For this strawberry one, honestly, it is super delicious, but I think it needs even more oil. What I would do personally next time is reduce the amount of cocoa butter and increase the amount of oil. If, so last time I think I used about a quarter cup of cocoa butter. I would down that to maybe three tablespoons and then I would up the regular oil to about uh, maybe a third of a cup. I would try that because I think it will give you a texture that's a little bit more spreadable. Other than that, it was delicious. Without more further ado, if you liked this video, I would really appreciate you giving it a thumbs up. We would love to have you subscribe so you can see the next time we post. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.